Now I like your video response. It was shorter, more concise. Uh, yeah. We're definitely to the point in this one, and I could say that you did make great points. I should have been more specific when I said that with anarchism, anarchism can work on anything so long as it's done the right way. Well, without archons means without rulers, right? Who's to say that anyone you should respect ethically is supposed to be a ruler? Could be a leader. What a ruler does is a ruler sets himself as the center. It's about him and everyone else is a secondary. And not in terms of self-interest, but in terms of who benefits. Everyone else is a secondary. And if they don't get any benefits, then tough. He keeps his. That's what I see as a ruler. When I think about a good leader, a leader is someone who displays responsibility. I've been a leader in my life. I've never been a ruler. I've never been given the opportunity to be a ruler. And I probably never will because whatever I will be presented with that opportunity, I'll decline it. And that's a fact. Leaders are supposed to, I'd say, be responsible for everybody. They don't send rulers for a military squad. They send leaders. They send lieutenants. They send these guys that... Sure, they might be at a higher position, but they're not in a hierarchy. Why? Because they're not ruling them, they're just leading them. The lieutenant has the responsibility, and if he messes up, then it could be game over for all of the troops when their bullets swerving at them. With the capitalist, the capitalist is in the war zone, or the reverse war zone, the market. And if he messes up, he could go in debt, and all of his little trusted friends could go in debt. That doesn't work with a politician, not all the time. With a politician, the politician, it's not his responsibility to, well, it's not in his interest or in his duty to help out his people. No, of course not. The only reason he'll give them rights is so that they won't swing at his ass. The only reason he can't do everything he wants is because he's afraid of the people. And that's not what happens with... See, I call it ideal capitalism. Why? Well, look at small businesses. I look at my neighborhood... Look at a small little bodega. They're not gonna. They're in a war zone. They're in a war zone. Instead of protecting themselves from bullets, protecting themselves from debt, from not making as much survivor means. And they need a leader, not a ruler, not someone who's just gonna have shit for himself and let everybody else die, or whose interest is not from the bottom up. That's what I would describe as the difference between a leader and a ruler. Although that one is shrouded in many, I call it, emotional undertones. Now, in all honesty, that's probably just because I am not a very good definer of things. And I'm sure that the whole... Regardless, you say that, alright, minarchy has an advantage, it could be a good thing, but why stop there? I agree. You should never stop at minarchy. It's an upgrade, but it's not the ultimate. You should definitely move for as much liberty, as much anything that's well for society, that does well for society. 
why put in something that's bad? Why put in something that's gonna do harm for us? Why put in more statism? Why put in more corporatism? Why put in more... I'd say... of anything that's bad for us. And I saw the way you defined corporatism just uh, an institution of government or something like that. And that's true. That's what corporations mean nowadays. But corporations used to be something else. So give a link to a Fringe Elements video and you'll see what corporations once wore. And they were once a thing that was okay. But again, they mean something different. It means something of a different implication of property and communication and marketing and all sorts of stuff. I'll put the link in the description. But all in all, um, you're right, uh, this should stop at some point, but not because I feel we'll quarrel for worthless stuff, but because I feel like at this point we've said some interesting things and I don't want to make as much responses so that it becomes too boring, and we're not, and we're bringing subjects that aren't worth mentioning. I want to be entertaining, and I want to be concise. I don't want to speak about what the definition of "duh" is, <laughs> or why we use articles and sentences.